Well, good morning, dear friends. It's Tuesday morning once again, and here Daryl and Irene Greenfield recording this short thought. Well, schools and colleges will be opening up for a new term, the autumn term, which leads up to Christmas, of course. A busy term for teachers and for pupils alike. There are inset days which start off the week and then the children come along. That is something that never happened in our day. Beginning a new experience in life is something which um, perhaps we've all been through at one time or another. Going to school, starting our work, the first day at work, we, perhaps we can remember that as well. We can remember those times in our lives when we entered into marriage and been, been through other times in our lives when new experiences have come along, whether they be good or whether they be bad. The reality we find in the Word of God is that in all the changing scenes of our lives that he is with us, and that God has ordained the paths that we follow. Now we might find that a little bit strange to think of in the, the world in which we live, that everything seems to be so unpredictable. And yet the Bible speaks of God leading us and guiding us. Psalm 23, sometimes beside still waters, even in the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil, but God is with us each step of the way. And new beginnings, of course, can be something that we can create in our own experience perhaps making certain decisions about our futures, deciding then to, to follow that way and not to just put things on the shelf. Starting a new job, new experience, new relationships, they all have their beginnings and they all go on. God is with us each step of the way. We never walk alone, the old song says, and that for me is a great encouragement and I'm sure it is for you as well. So whatever experience you are going through at the moment, whether it's in the world of education, whether it's in your own personal life. Perhaps bereavement has come knocking on the door and that's an experience that we never thought we'd have to go through, but it arrived on our doorstep. Perhaps there are times when we felt that we'd been let down or that we were disappointed with those around us. And sometimes perhaps we have to make a conscious effort in, in order to build bridges that had been broken over many years. That's a new beginning. But be sure that God is with us each step of the way. One of the old songs we often hear sung is, you will never walk alone, and that's so very, very true. So whatever this week, whatever experiences you are going through, don't forget that you are never alone. He is with us, and he will be with us even to the end of the age. We often sing here in Greenfield, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah pilgrim, through this barren land. It's a barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. The reality is, he holds us in his powerful and gracious hands. May God be with you wherever you are today. Let us pray. Father, whatever this week holds for us, we pray your presence with us. Those of our families, those children and young people who may be beginning a new term today, we pray that you will be with them. We pray for new beginnings in our world, an end to the turmoil of war and want that is in our world. Lead those who are the peacemakers, Lord, to be the inspiration for new beginnings, that there might be no more pain or sorrow or crying in our world. And so, Lord, we do thank you for this new day. Whatever it holds, may we know we are never alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless everyone. Thanks to Daryl for being here today as well. And look after yourselves. Look forward to sharing with you again very soon.